I'm gonna be vlogging my finals week. Anxiety is through the roofs, like, whoa, it's through. <gasps> oh my god, it's here! Oh my god, I'm so scared. We're in winter break! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 8 o'clock. This week is finals week. Today is Monday, however, we don't have a final today. Today I have like all my classes and we're just kind of reviewing into them. And then tomorrow is when it starts, which is pretty scary because tomorrow is also the day that I find out if I got into NYU or not. Oh, so I'm so scared. Basically, I'm gonna be vlogging my finals week. I'm also in physics class right now which is great. I'm gonna go to class, learn Everybody some physics. Great. It's 8.30, class actually ended early today. Calculus. Hello, you wanna let me in? You know, I start off my days caring about school, like first and second period, I'm like, okay, yeah, like, come on, we're gonna do this, like school, we're just gonna get it over with. And then by the time it's third period, I'm just like, I couldn't care less. Like, this is boring, I don't wanna be here, and I will just not pay attention. Let me know if you guys feel that way too about your classes. Two minutes until class starts and I've just literally been watching TikTok, so. School! Jens and the lads, lads and the lads, lads. Class, I mean. So now that school's over, it means I need to start studying. I just don't have the motivation to care anymore. I don't even have enough energy to spend on feeling anxious about school. I know I started the year off like very motivated and all that, but like, it has eroded, it has declined, and the rates are low, like low, low. And I know I just need to like do it a little bit more after this week it's over, I can get a fat ass break, but uh, I don't know how, where I'm gonna pull this motivation out to study for these finals. For calculus, it's an actual final, but I need at least a 72 on the final to keep my A. Honestly, the thing with calc is that like, sometimes I'll take a test and I'll be like, oh my God, this went by so well. Like, I think I actually did good on it. And then I'll get like a D. And then I'll take a test and this literally happened. I'll take a test and I'm like, I really honestly don't know what to expect from this. Like I could have gotten a D, a C, a B or an A. Like I, I don't know what to expect. And I got a 99. It's so unpredictable. <sighs> I'm unsure. I don't know if I can get a 72. <laughs> It's 12.30, I'm gonna go eat, procrastinate a little bit, and then hopefully we'll start studying. This is a summary of my life. FaceTime with Jack, eating or drinking some sort of thing, and then my computer screen opened to NYU's homepage. I made flashcards for my physics test tomorrow. It's like open note. And we're doing forces right now, so I just need to like make sure I don't mess up. This is how you study for physics. The night before the test, redo every single problem that you've ever done in class, like regarding your unit. And then, yeah, literally the same with just different numbers and sometimes they add in an angle. I have to study for my calc final, but I just don't have the motivation to do it. And I know I should, but I just don't care enough. I should care, but I don't. <sighs> it is 9 p.m. and I'm finally done studying. I am hungry because I didn't eat dinner, which is bad because I tend to forget to eat. I'm gonna eat some salsa and chips for dinner. Tomorrow is the big day. I find out if I get into NYU or not. So before I go to bed, I'll probably do some like last minute manifestations. Try to think positively, maybe do some meditation, maybe listen to some music before I go to bed. Just so you know, we can send out some positive vibes into the universe. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. I didn't say anything when I woke up because like I woke up literally five minutes before my physics test and I just wanted to get that over with. It's currently nine. So now I kind of have like an hour to literally do anything. I'm probably gonna eat breakfast and go over my math stuff just for like a final review. I find out if I get into NYU in... Come on, nail math. Math, I've been doing math all morning. Come on, this is simple addition. <laughs> Seven hours, in seven hours. Oh my God, that sounds so far away. We changed into NYU gear because, you know, 
We had to. I mean, if I was gonna wear this on any day, it should be today. Also, I have just been informed that it's 4 p.m. Eastern time. I don't know why I never accounted for that. So it's technically 1 p.m. Pacific time that I find out, which is like right after my final. We are, we are this close, guys, this close. This is the aftermath of my calculus final. Um, it was pretty easy. I literally think I might've gotten like, a B? I mean, I'm, I don't know. I hope it went well, but then again, it's calculus and you can never be sure on how your calculus test can go. In 37 minutes, NYU portal gets updated and I find out if I get into my dream college or not. So you can understand why I'm a little anxious. Um, I'm out of breath. My heart is beating way too fast. Anxiety is through the roofs. Like, whoa, it's through. Yeah, I'll just, I'll see you guys when the portal's updated because I can't focus on this right now. I need to distract myself so I don't pass out. I'm having a little manifestation session. Alexa, play relaxing music. It's one, that means I think decisions are like out or they're starting to get out. I literally don't want to sit. <gasps> oh my god, it's here! Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. Mom, you need to calm down. I can't. I can't click it. I didn't. I'm so scared. I'm gonna call Jack. I'm gonna call Haley. <laughs> My <laughs> I'm an NYU student! Oh my god. How are you? I'm gonna go to the house. I'm Dude, I'm so oh happy. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have it. I have it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yay! I got accepted into NYU and I'm over the moon. Um, I also haven't had like a second alone with my thoughts right now I guess is the only time I've been alone since um, I opened my decision letter. Honestly, it, it feels surreal I don't think it has hit me yet and I don't think it will until like tonight I will do a whole Stats like what it did my extracurriculars like I will do that entire video another time because that's like a whole other thing And I know a lot of you want to see that as well, but I just wanted to say this one little piece of advice because I hadn't realized it until just now. If you've been following me for a while, you guys know I've been a hardworking student literally since I started school. I've worked my ass off and yes, every week I literally had a mental breakdown, like almost every day. There were so many times where I was like, you know what, like I can't take this anymore, I'm giving up, but I didn't. All those years of breakdowns, anxiety, stress, sacrifices, missing out on activities, spending summers inside my room doing online classes, not being able to post YouTube videos, not just basically missing out on things that I wanted to do but I just couldn't because I was like, no, I need to work on school, I need to focus on school, blah, blah, blah. Trust me, I know how sucky and how annoying that feeling is. I know what a burden that feeling is and I know it, it's it's undescribable. It just feels like you're so overwhelmed and you are crumbling and drowning and all of that I know what that feeling is 100% but let me tell you this when I opened my acceptance letter It was like Damn, I would go through all of that one more time It's something I would do all over again because it pays off like yes It doesn't pay off at the end of the year but it pays off at the end of the four years. I think that's just the one thing I would tell you. If you are struggling and you are feeling lost, you're feeling like you have no motivation, you're feeling like you don't know what to do, like you just don't know why you're working so hard, you're just doing it but you don't understand why, you will once you get your letter. And I didn't understand it until I got my letter. But in all honesty, like I said, I would do it again 
because it really is worth it. It's like finally my efforts are being rewarded. That's all, that's my little motivational speech. I think we're gonna go to my sister's house because she was feeling a little down because she took a final yesterday. We made some cake, so you guys will come with me and then I'm gonna have to come home and study for finals. See, it, it doesn't really end, but you know, at least we got it done by you. Also guys, I'm like active on my TikTok now. So like literally follow me, please. I posted a, NYU TikTok. Come on. Come on, guys. Make me TikTok famous. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is sarcasm. Please don't cancel me. No, don't We are in the downtown of LA. Actually, we've been here for a while. I just forgot I was vlogging. And there's my little doge. Howdy. I completely forgot to finish or even like continue yesterday's vlog. Today's Wednesday. It's 11.30. I don't have any finals today, so obviously I didn't go to school. Today, what I'm going to do, first I'm going to eat some breakfast, then I'm going to take a shao shao. Um, that's a shower, by the way. I'm going to start studying for my two finals tomorrow. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the schedule, the plan for today. That's the dealio, kids. I need to eat because I'm starving. I'm already looking at apartments, even though I'm going to live in a dorm. But this house is really nice, so if anyone wants to like room with me, we can split it and like I think it'll be good. Thought I'd give you guys a little update. I am doing some reading. I'm gonna try to keep my B. I don't really need to study, but like I also don't want to be completely clueless or like I don't want him to think that I just gave up and I'm not trying at all. Slight change of plans, my government grade went up from a B to an A. So now I'm motivated to keep my A, but in order for me to do that, I need to get a 90 on this final and that's literally impossible because I've been getting D's on our test. I don't know, and I don't want to study for government. And homemade pizza. This one has artichokes inside and then this one is like plain. We have some dolma or stuffed bell peppers and a salad. Wow. And a little, little mother. It's currently 9 p.m. I am in a study session with my friends because we're studying for my government final tomorrow. I've been doing that for like an hour, but I guess we're still gonna continue because we have more sections to go. But that's my little 9 p.m. activity. Night, night time. It's only 11, but my final is at 8 a.m. So I'm gonna wake up early. So I will see you in the morning. Good night. I am gonna take my English final and so I'm waiting for the class to start. We have four more minutes. I'm going to take my English final and then my government final and then I'm going to be done with finals and I'm so excited. Hey, what's up peeps? First final is over. Um, the next test I have is not a final, it's a chapter test. So like, I don't really care. And for a little breakfast, I'm eating two tangerines because I'm starving. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this now, bye. We're in winter break. That's so beautiful to hear. I've been fantasizing about this moment since first semester started. And it's finally here. We have like 17 days off school, which is so nice. I plan on sleeping and not looking at a single school or college related thing these entire two weeks because I am just so over everything school and college related. So it's time for me to relax. It's relax time.